Hey, it's Renacode here, and this is going to be a short video showcasing how we can Dockerize a simple fast API application. And in my case, I have a very, very simple application where we just have a root endpoint with a hello world kind of message saying hello fast API in this case. And an endpoint on slash items slash something, and then we just return the item ID and whatever was inputted here. So a very, very simple application. I then have a requirements.txt file allowing me inside my Docker file to then kind of load these dependencies or requirements. For my Docker file, very simple, we run from a slim Python base image. We define a working directory. We then copy all our content. So mainly to get our main.py file and our requirements.txt file over. We then pip install based on our requirements file. We then ensure that we are exposing port 80 and we then use ubicon to then start our fast API application and host it on port 80. To then do this with Docker, we can first very simply check that I have no images. I have nothing else running. I will then do Docker build. Let's give it a tag and call it fast API and build it from my current position. Again, it should be worth noting, I am in the folder of this content. I should then give it a few seconds to run like that. We should then be able to do Docker images to see that we now have a fast API image built seven seconds ago. We can then very simply do Docker, run, port forward, port 80 to port 80. So we are port forwarding port 80 from our container to localhost. And I'm gonna be running this fast API image. We can see then very quickly, Again, the beauty of uh, fast API in general is that it starts almost instantly. So if we had a more like scalable system with a bunch of services, this can be started and stopped very fast. But just to prove it works, I have here a simple browser. If I then do localhost on just the base path, we get the hello fast API message. And I, if I do slash items slash some number, we just get item ID one, two, and so on. So it works. And again, just to showcase that we actually have it running, if I do Docker PS, we can see here that we now have this Docker container running and it is port forwarding port 8080. Could be worth noting because I didn't run this in like the background. This takes up our console. I can't really stop it. So to stop it again, I would go to another terminal like this and I would simply do Docker remove image. I'm, and then I would force it because it's going to be running and I'm just going to pass it the container ID and it stops. So if we wanted to this to run kind of like in the background, I would add a dash D to have it run in the background, allowing me to reuse my console like that. Now it's running in the background and we should still be able to do any of these. But that was a quick showcase of how we can Dockerize a fast API application. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.